Today it's all things super handy. That's right, this super handy lift is perfect for your shop and I'm gonna talk about why today. All right guys, the reason why you all should have this, and may, you may or may not have a bad back, I have a bad back. Oftentimes you see me wearing this as I refer to as my fat belt. It's actually a back support belt because all my L4 discs blown up. So, I do a lot with metal art and all that fun good stuff, such as this. But we're frequently lifting these blocks up to the powder coat booth that weigh a couple hundred pounds, not good for the back. So I started doing some research and we found that unit that does the lifting from ground level. So that was kind of important to me, that we found something that went almost to ground level that you could take something heavy by myself like this and I could roll it up on there or slide it up on there, whatever. I didn't have to lift it to put it up on. Some of those platforms you see are about six or eight inches off the ground. And that doesn't always work. We needed something that was as low as possible, but also had low clearance legs on it that you could swivel around as far as a lift platform goes. It's just handy around the shop. You could even use it to lift like three quarter ton truck tires. Right, and this is, this is our powder coat, one of our powder coat racks. And I don't know if it, it is actually low enough or not. We're gonna find that out. But we wanted something that would go under here, but the platform would go here so I could suspend like engine blocks and stuff off from this without actually Caleb and I, who's manning the camera today, lifting this thing up like a couple of bold dumbasses. And that's how you get hurt. And I'm trying to show him the right way to lift things and that is not it. So I'm gonna try to get smarter around the shop and we shopped around. We may have to cut this out and raise it up a little bit, not a big deal, but that is another reason why I was looking for the unit I was looking at. The capacity of that unit is 350 pounds. It's more than enough to do just about everything that I want to do. And if you didn't notice, the filming's a little different today because while Caleb's behind the camera, I'm giving him the opportunity to have free reign because at the end of the day, he's way better at recording than I am. So what we're gonna do is gonna go up to the garage because the UPS guy didn't deliver it to the shop like he's supposed to, they delivered it to the house. So now it's up there and I can't carry it, but we're gonna go get it. All right, so we opted for Caleb lifting it up in the back of this project on the dime. So he's gonna be my muscle and I'm gonna back it up. Here it is. This is our super handy. I believe that's the brand to be honest with you. And they didn't sponsor it, so I didn't get this for free or sponsored or anything. So I, this is a completely unbiased opinion, 100%, which they always are. But super handy lift. That gives you an idea of what it looks like. It kind of looks like a dolly right here, um, but it's not, it's a little different. It's like a little forklift at the same time. So I'm actually excited to, to get this. And honestly, we priced these out and they range from like 12, $1,500, depending on what you're gonna find. We found this one on a different site. However, we did get it through Amazon for right around 400 bucks. So I think at that price point, it's totally worth trying. So Caleb, get it in the truck. All right, we're changing roles now. I got Caleb being the muscle. Hey, he's in the weightlifting now, so it kind of works that he's, uh... don't lift with your back, son. Don't do what I did and have done for years, so. Yeah, you kind of walk it in there and I guess we'll just slide it in. There was a reason why I had kids, and it's paying off now. This is great. I can tell you that you like it. <laughs> slide, boy, slide. So you might as well grab that 50 pound package. This is a, a tractor part that has to be welded, so you might as well grab them both. Man, on a dime's looking pretty flattened out. <laughs> this thing looks so cool, though. I'm gonna tell you, I love this little truck with the cap. It rides terrible, and it has absolutely no power which we have got to find an answer to that, getting more power out of this thing. This sucks. I think he quit already. <laughs> he said he's inside getting his boots, but I have my doubts he's coming back now that I'm using him for physical labor, but I think he will. All right, so now I think we're gonna do it over here. The tractor's gonna come out as well. It's actually nice in here. So the Caleb got the heat going before I even got home, which is nice. So we'll get the tractor out of here. It's almost 50 already in here. I mean, it is winter, you southern boys. I know when it hits 50 down there, you're freezing, but it ain't bad out today. So, let's tractor fire it up and we will bring, oh, bring her outside. All right, man. Oh, hey. I hopefully, super handy, almost built my drink. Oh, hey. 
Let's see if Super Handy Lift, what is under this thing? Let's see if Super Handy Lift lives up to the same. You know that I've had my energy drink. Let's go, fast time. Oop, I missed. My thought is that this thing is actual, oh wow, look at that. Ooh, first, first, well, first glance, I'm impressed. Except for that knife cut I just put down in the middle of it. That looks good, bud. Powder coated, super handy. I'm digging it, we got our instructions. All right, first glance, packaged well, not damaged. Let's get this thing out of the box. Aside for the knife that you just put into it. Aside for the knife I just stuck down the middle of it. But I think this platform is just sitting here. Yep. So this, I believe, I, I believe this platform is something you can have on it or you don't have to have on it. Depending on what you're moving around, you can just use the little fork thing. So we'll get back to this, I'm sure. And probably start with the directions, which I hate reading directions. I can read, I just hate reading directions. Okay. So, out, 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 yep. Oh, that though. More. What's this? All right, we're reversing rolls again. Caleb is now picking it up. Oh Jesus, just that piece. Okay, bud. Pick it right out of that box, then we'll lay it down. And I believe the directions are telling us, put the axle in through the foot pedal. This is not a how-to on how to assemble this thing. I just want to kind of get this thing assembled and show you how it works. Hopefully it's impressive for all of us, not just me. All right, wheels are plastic, so keep that in mind when you're out there off-roading. I'd be cautious of that. Um, they are, the fit and finish is right there though. It is pretty good, and honestly, this may be low enough. This might actually fit underneath my lift without any modification. That would be awesome. We got our hardware packet, but what I'm looking for is the axle, which I believe is right here. So I'm gonna throw the axle in, and then I think, doesn't that look short? I don't know, all right. Put it in oh, they actually put grease on all the spots. Jeez. Maybe, ah, there we go. I'm kind of impressed right now, bud. Hmm. And I'm lining up the threaded holes. Then we need a couple of boats. So we'll go up here, we'll dump our boats up. All right. We're just gonna finish assembling this thing because it's not like rocket science and neither, it's also not exciting. That bolt's not tightening. What's up with that? These are two different size bolts. All right, so apparently putting the axle in, you need a 13 millimeter wrench for this bolt and a 12 millimeter wrench for this bolt. Hey, it is what it is, you just do it. Anyway, we're gonna finish assembling this thing because really it's not much to it. You got a hang crank, couple of levers, couple of legs, blah, 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 blah. And then it'll be done like this. Three, two, one. Ta-da! See? Boom, assembled it. Actually, the assembly on this thing is super easy. It only took like 10 minutes to put this whole thing together. And it is just that. It's literally a mini forklift. Uh, it's got swivel caches in the front. You got your hand crank in the back when it comes to lowering or lifting. It has a safety so you can actually lock it in. Not sure where it locks in. Oh, it looks like down there. Oh, maybe it's supposed to drill more holes. See that? Like a little safety. I don't know what that does, to be honest with you. <laughs> I think that maybe there should have been more holes along the way, not just that one. But man, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, it lowers down and then lifting, it'll lock into place. You hear the detents. So you can lower that down. Now, also, you can lock your lift handle in place over here. I saw. Like this. Boom. So that secures you in place in place as well. And then you can like move your object around, whatever you're gonna do. This thing is really nice on this floor. And then if you want to lock it in, boom. You can lock the wheels in, this thing is in position. One last thing, what I'm gonna do is remember this platform, which is honestly, it's probably gonna live on here pretty much most of the time unless we're taking tires off. But it just goes on like this with a couple of pins and clips. And then we'll test it. We're gonna go grab an engine block. We'll roll, actually I'm gonna just show that even a guy with a weak back can do it. And for purposes, can do it by himself. So let me throw this platform on and we'll go check it out. 
and for those times when you just can't get up, it's handy. Because guess what? Ta-da! Takes all the effort out of standing as well. It's like a two for one. See how I do now. Keep in mind, I'm going to uh, be scratching the heck out of my nicely painted thing. Right? Like yep. This. That's what you're meant to do. Like this. Lock the wheels. All right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Locking the wheels. Now I'm going to lower it down. Absolutely killing myself. Still pushing it backwards. It's still working. There you go. Still pushing it backwards. Okay, it's on. Now, let's lift it up. Ooh, it doesn't wait much. It's working though. It's pretty easy. So I'm gonna get about here. She's locked in. Unlock my wheels. Check it out, buddy. It's a smile on this face. So now if you had like your welding bench, it's pretty stable, honestly. You could bring it over your welding bench and then slide it over to a bench. This would work on anything heavy. Ultimately, I want to see if it's gonna fit on my rack. I just don't think it's gonna. This is ultimately what I need. Oh my god, is that freaking close, dude. You see it? Get reporting. Oh my god, it couldn't be any closer than that. That is insane. <laughs> Jesus, are you kidding me? I feel like... I feel like I can just go for it. Alright, honestly, I'm rolling this around on the shop floor with ease. It swivels, it turns. This is going to be a game changer for us, or at least for me. Anything with some weight to it, like that generator right there. If I wanted to lift that up to work on it, boom, I put it on this and I can wheel it around. So honestly, at a price point around 400 bucks, this is a good unit to have for anybody that wants to save their back or has a bad back, just moving things around the shop itself. Um, it's the super handy material lift. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drop a link to this thing, at least where I bought it. You can find it at other places as well. Um, and, and get yourself one because at the end of the day, I'm pretty happy with this overall. We're so close from fitting underneath our, into our powder coat rack. I'm going to change the casters out to like a quarter inch taller caster and that'll take care of it for us. But this super lift, no, I'm sorry, this super handy lift is a must have for any shop, fab shop, mechanic shop or anything like that. Honestly, it is worth the 400 bucks. You can get it on Amazon. The thing showed up in like three days, so you can't beat that either. Um, yeah, so if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Give us a watch, give us a like. Actually tell us how we're doing, drop a comment. I'd love to hear from you, or at least most of you. But anyway, Scott and Caleb from Flippin' Customize. Take care, guys.